Hey everyone, it's Cupquake. Welcome to another episode of DIY Geeky Goodies, where I make all things geeky and creative and show you how to do them. So I have been wanting to paint some tennis shoes and I decided to show you guys how to paint some Lady Rainicorn tennis shoes. This is what you're gonna need. Acrylic paints, brushes and a pencil, clean water, a thin permanent marker, and white canvas shoes. First, before you do anything, remove your shoelaces. Place down a newspaper or something so you don't get paint on your table. And we're first gonna start sketching out our design. I have already drawn up the designs and decided what color I'm going to use. Next, we're gonna cover our shoe with clean water. You're going to cover your whole shoe, and I'm doing this because I want it to be ombre style, so I want it to be easier to blend and forgiving if I make any mistakes, so add a lot of water. Now we can start painting. So start with the lighter colors first. I mix turquoise with white, and I'm just going to scrub it onto the shoe. So since there's a lot of water on this, it's very light. So if you don't want it to be as light, just add more paint. Now I'm gonna start adding some darker colors. So again, add a lot of water to this so you can have a really nice ombre color. I am using ultramarine blue. So if you make a mistake, you can just add some more water on top of it and kind of scrub it. As I get towards the back of the shoe, I'm going to add more paint. So less water, more paint, and if you want it to spread out and kind of blend, just add more water on top of that. By the time you're done with this, your shoes are going to be soaked, so you may want to have gloves on. Next, we're going to use the darkest color, which is a phthalo blue. You don't really need much water for this. I really wanted to add some sort of orbital space-like effect, so I'm grabbing that phthalo blue and having a lot of water, adding a bit of it to the front of the shoe, to the lighter portion, and putting some water on top of it so it spreads out and blends well. So this is what these shoes look like. I tried to avoid the pencil sketching areas, but it did cover some of it, just seeped into it. Now I'm going to add some clouds. So I'm just getting some pure white paint, no water. The shoes are still pretty wet, so I'm just going to make a pretty little shape that looks like a cloud clean my brush off and get some water. Then I'm going to place it over the paint and then you can see it start to spread. So it looks like it's flying in the sky and that the wind is blowing it. If you want to have the cloud stand out more, just add more white paint over that. Once you're done with the background, we're now ready to paint Lady Rainicorn. I am using less water here, actually, hardly any. Make sure your shoes have dried a little bit because then the colors will start to seep and bleed and you won't have a solid figure. So I'm just doing all of the colors that Lady Rainicorn, she is of course a rainbow, pinks, purple, blue, green, and yellow. I'm also adding a rainbow in the back of the shoe so it seems like her body is continuing. Now that you're done painting, let your shoes dry overnight. Once your shoes are completely dry, grab your thin black sharpie and begin to outline Lady Rainicorn. Once you're done outlining all of your drawing, you can then add your laces. You now have your very own customized Lady Rainicorn sneakers. You don't have to paint Lady Rainicorn. This could be anything you like. You can use any color variations you want. I just wanted to give you guys an example. If you guys try this out, be sure to tweet me a picture at ISCupQuake. If you found this helpful, subscribe or leave a like and comment. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am Cupquake and I will see you all later. Bye!